Hi makers! Today we are doing a dollar store challenge and trying to create Kahoa style lays under $10. I have several Kahoa lay tutorials and I would say the average cost of materials is $30 to $35. Come to the Dollar Tree with me and let's see what we can find. Give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. I'm trying to keep an open mind and use as little seasonal materials as possible so that you can find the same items. To be honest, I'm going to be very selective about using artificial flowers from the Dollar Tree. The petal quality has a huge impact on your finished result and I don't think it will give me the result I'm going for. I was surprised to find these succulents. I think they will be perfect to recreate a yellow or red fall lay. I'm grabbing some red bows curling ribbon for sewing things on, and some jute twine to use as my base. I picked up this green mesh tubing. I know exactly what I want to do with it, but I haven't made the style lace, so we'll see what I can figure out. I usually use stiffened felt when making artificial lays. The felt in the craft section was really thin, so I'm going to try these chamois towels. This is the only seasonal item I'm using, foam flowers. I'm going to pick up some white ones. This is my second trip to the same Dollar Tree a week later. They had some new flowers in and I was shocked to see these tropical leaves. I picked up some mini monstera leaves, variegated leaves, and these ferns at the bottom. I tried to use as many dollar store items as possible. The items I use not from the Dollar Tree are scissors, glue gun and glue sticks, and a sewing needle. I am most excited about these succulents. There were some different varieties. Some of the succulents were too stiff to use, but these larger red and yellow ones will work. I'm going to cut off the individual petals. I didn't use the top smaller layers, but you could definitely adjust your design to use them. One of the reasons these succulents work well is because the petals are thinner. I've looked at some of the other succulents at the craft store and they would be too thick to use in this project. I am using this chamois towel and cutting out half moon shapes. I have braided three strands of jute twine for my rope and I'm going to sew my felt pieces onto the rope. Following the shape of my half moon cutout, I am hot gluing on the succulent petals. I trim some of the points of the petals so that they look less like a succulent. My base layer is made up of the largest petals, and my second layer uses smaller petals of the succulent. They didn't have enough of one color at the store I visited, so I am alternating red and yellow.
For my top layer, I wanted to do something like a tea leaf rose, but I couldn't find any green ribbon or a leaf big enough that would work. So I used these baby's breath flowers, which I thought were decent quality, and I'm just gluing three in place as my top layer. For my base, I wasn't able to find a ribbon or leaf long enough to achieve the tea leaf style like my other kahoas, so I'm going to use a mix of this leaf and fern. I'm removing the leaves so that I have individual leaves to work with. I'm going to hot glue them directly to the back of my felt pieces. I did go in and glue extra leaves to fill in any gaps. Here is our first completed lay. I love how it turned out and I would love to use these succulents paired with one of my tea leaf bases like the ribbon kahoa lays I've done before. Here are the materials I used and the price breakdown. I'm not including the price of the twine and string I used because it was such a small amount and you probably have those materials on hand. We went a little over our $10 budget but I definitely think it was worth it. 
For our second lay, I'm using this mesh tubing and my inspiration is this style of kahoa that is made with pine instead of tea leaf as the base. I haven't made this style before, so I'm going to try to braid in the mesh tubing. I'm going to start with a three strand braid of twine and braid a couple inches for the tie in the back. And I'm going to cut my tubing into 10 inch pieces. I am placing two pieces of my tubing onto the middle strand of my braid and I'm going to braid over it to braid it in. I am braiding the twine about two inches in between before adding in the ends and forming a half circle. I'm going to squeeze that tight and cross over my strands before adding in the next two pieces and continue braiding these in until you have your desired length. I am tracing the shape of my pieces onto the chamois towel. I am keeping about half an inch of mesh tubing that extends over my twine. Because the mesh tubing will still slide out of my braid, I'm using my cutout pieces to help secure it. I'm hot gluing the inside mesh layer to the chamois towel. I'm also gluing in place my twine and the tops of the mesh.
Once everything is secured, trim off any excess mesh tubing. I tried a few different materials in this layer to see what would look best. I ended up using these red bows. I removed the staple to unravel them and cut the ribbon into smaller pieces. I created loops and layered the ribbon. For the top layer, I did two layers of baby's breath. This lay was half the price of our first one. I definitely like the concept of doing this style base and I'm going to look for some artificial pine leaf for a future tutorial. I also like the baby's breath going across the top of the lay. Our final dollar store lay is similar in style to the artificial lay we recently posted. For this lay, we are going to cut out quarter circle shapes using our chamois towel. I use these in each video and they are a good buy. They are stiff enough to use in this type of project and easier to sew through than stiffen felt. I am peeling off the leaves from the plastic stems and cutting them in half.
Next, I'm placing a dab of glue to create a loop with my leaf and gluing that to my quarter piece following the rounded edge shape. I am using these white foam flowers that were in the valentine section and taking them apart, cutting them into individual petals. Following my shape, I am gluing down a few layers of the white petals. Like our first lay, I'm sewing my pieces onto our braided twine. These layers were pretty thin, otherwise I would sew on the pieces before adding on layers. I would have also liked to finish this one off with a ribbon or leaf rose, but I couldn't find anything that would work. I'm finishing this lay with the baby's breath as well.
I'm using the same method for the leaf base as I did in my first lay. I'm using these mini monstera leaves and I added in the fern because it gave some needed contrast and texture. I had to separate some of my leaves so that the leg could be stretched out into a rounded shape. I added in leaves to fill in any gaps that might show when it is being worn. Here are the finished lays. We hope you enjoyed this dollar store challenge. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more lay videos.